Welcome to It's Happening in Pikeville. I'm Minta. And I'm Andy. We're here to tell you about all the great things that's happening in Pikeville in the month of September. We're starting out with Main Street Live every first and third Friday night. September the 18th, Main Street Live is Future Rock Stars. We'll have all kinds of great talent here, up and rising, bands, just anything that you can think of that you think is going to be the Future Rock Star is going to be here at Main Street Live on September 18th. Then the following week, we have a celebration at the Hatfield McCoy Heritage Day. Andy, give us some information about Hatfield McCoy Day. Well, it starts on Thursday night at 5 o'clock. We're having opening ceremonies right here on this stage at 5.30. On uh, Thursday night? On Thursday night. Okay. And then uh, Friday night, we have drag racing. And I did say Friday night, because usually we drag race on Saturday. But right, so that's Muscle on Main is kind of moved up to... Muscle, Main is, Muscle on Main is the actual car show that's going to be on Saturday, but the drag racing is going to be on Friday night. And then on Saturday night, we have our first annual, first time in the Riverfield, I think it's the first time in Pikeville. First time ever. <laughs> ever, Demolition Derby. Okay. Wow. And we're going to call it the Hatfield McCoy Smash the Pig. Smash the Pig. Smash the Pig. So is there going to be like a pig in the middle and there is? <laughs> you, know, you never know. You never know. And uh, don't be, you know, don't be the first one out because you'll be the pig. <laughs> okay. So that is September the 24th, 25th, and, and 26th. 26th. Correct. So you kind of uh, pushed. Uh, the drag racing's back one night so that we could have the demolition derby. And then uh, just so you know that Saturday night after the Demolition Derby, we have Midlife Crisis that are going to be playing yeah, in Midlife the river Crisis. They are absolutely awesome. They were at Main Street July. Live during Motorcycles on Main when we partnered with Hillbilly Christmas yes. in July. A great band, does a lot of great uh, maybe journey sounds and things yeah. like that. Yeah, they were very good and we had a lot of people here that night that enjoyed them, so that's why uh, we're trying to bring them back. Right. So, okay, so I know there's other things going to be happening around town during Hatfield McCoy Day, Heritage Day. Yeah. On, you know, Friday and Saturday, if you come uh, downtown, there's a lot of things happening with crafts and vendors, uh, Jenny Wiley performances, yes. face painting, balloon artists. We'll have all kinds of things. We have a lot of stuff the for the kids. Yeah, we have we'll, a lot we got of got bouncy houses that are going to be here for the kids. Uh, uh, some water events, too, for them, I believe. Where will uh, those be located? Uh, probably at the head of Main. At the head of Main Street? Yeah, at the head of Main Street. So that's going to last. This is what our third annual... Yeah, McCoy. Hatfield McCoy Heritage Days. It's all about celebrating the heritage and the culture of uh, the Hatfield and McCoy and the story that goes along with that. So, you know, we always have the theater engaged and tourism always, you know, passes that story along. I know that the Art and Cultural Committee for Main Street is going to do a little bit of skits and something called uh, reading the lines to where they actually get up and read the lines from actual history really? that goes with oh, that. That's going to be nice. so we're really excited to be able to bring that to the community yes. and have everybody come out, walk around town. You know, this weekend coming up is a holiday, but then the 18th, Main Street Live, then rolling right, right into, into the, the 24th, 25th, and 26th. And, uh, the, um, just to put it out there, Dance Gallery is going to be here doing, they're going to do some uh, opening skits for us for the opening ceremony, and I do believe that they're going to be here periodically to do some line dancing and things like that and get the crowd involved as well. Oh, that's great. So that's going to be pretty interesting. People love to dance. You know, when they oh, come yeah. out to Main Street Live, they love, love to dance, and, and we really like to see that. And speaking of Main Street Live, I want to kind of get a, just a second in. Uh, our last one is in October, October the yes, 16th. October 16th. Yeah. Tell them about what we're going to do, Andy, for the last one. We're going to well, make it gonna, a big bash. We're going to bash it out the last one. We're going to have a barbecue cook-off, okay, a barbecue contest. Um, I do believe we're calling it the Main Street Barbecue Bash. Main Street Live Barbecue Bash, because so, it's going to happen during Main Street Live. It's going to happen here during Main Street, and what we're going to do is we're going to pick a celebrity judge that we're going to uh, do like a little raffle here, and we're going to have pick somebody for the next three or four Main Streets, mm -hmm. uh, two or three Main Streets that we have. We're going to pick, uh, let people enter, and then right. we're going to draw a, a name for them to be a judge. Right, so if you're you know, in the crowd, you always come to Main Street Live yeah. and you think you'd like to be a part of the season finale, which is going to be the barbecue contest, yeah. we're going to kind of like sell you a chance to put your name in the hat. We're going to draw that name out on October the 2nd, which is our 80s yeah. night for Main Street Live, and you get to be one of the celebrity judges yeah. that will judge the barbecue. So let me give you a little information. If you want to be a barbecue contest er and have a chance to win $1,000, you need to bring your application. You yeah. can call me at 899-2489. Come by City Hall, 
tourism, whatever, just say, I want to enter that barbecue contest and we're going to set you up with some meat. So you're going to be right here behind the stage on Main Street yeah. and you're going to cook <clears throat> Thursday evening. We're going to let them set up anytime after Thursday evening. And then okay. uh, Friday morning, we're going to have the, uh, the cooks, cooks meeting and then we'll pass out the meat. And okay. They can start cooking at seven o'clock Friday morning. So they'll be cooking all day on Friday. Okay. So. so we did this last year during Hatfield McCoy uh, Heritage Days. But we kind of felt like we'd like to, you know, bring it together with Main Street Live because the food is always so awesome, and but really give them a taste of yes, local yes. barbecue and, and, and make it more just about that. So last year we had five or six entries. Yes. People walked away. I think uh, one winner was a thousand. Another, yes. the People's Choice Award, and second place was the same person. Yes. So we had a lot of entries, and it was great. So I'm real excited that this year the. We're going to pig out. Oh, last yeah, last be, one. That's the last one of the year, and that's going to be a good one. Yep. That's a, let's back up the one thing about the uh, demolition derby. If you're interested in getting in that demolition derby, uh, it's going to start about 4 o'clock in the evening. Uh, you can call, uh, you can get on the website at visitpikeville.com. There's this place there that you can download the registration form. Mm -hmm. uh, we need some, this will be, we need to go ahead and get everybody registered so that we, we know how many cars that we have, so how we, we can fix that up. So. Now tell me, I, I forgot which day. Is that Friday or Saturday? That's going to be on September the 26th. Because that's Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Okay. And Friday night is the drag racing. Okay. So, uh, we added a new outlaw class that, that uh, we have five classes now. So the outlaw class is going to be basically a uh, uh, pretty unlimited class. Awesome. They can come in and do what they need to do. It's not unlimited. You can't have tubular cars or center driven or open wheels. But uh, all that stuff does not have to have. Uh, <laughs> license or registration Station, this time, so uh, bring it and run it, and it's going to be a uh, $500 uh, prize, for 400 for the first, 100 for the second, and uh, it's going to be a good, good night. Yeah, so that weekend of Hatfield and McCoy Heritage Day is going to be a lot of firsts. Yeah. You know, we're trying to build a community event. It yeah. takes us a while, but I think that demolition derby is definitely going to be, you know, it's going to be a placemaker. Yeah, Saturday, Saturday during the day down on, the, on uh, Division Street uh, in front of the new courthouse will be our Muscle on Main Car Show. We're still okay. going to have that. So. Uh, looking to fill fill them up, I'm sure. Yeah. But last well, time we had over 180 cars. Oh wow. Yeah. So, so you can tell it's definitely happening in it's, Pikeville. It's happening in Pikeville. And if you want more information about all the events happening in Pikeville, go to visit Pikeville.com. Thanks, Andy. Thank you, Mentha. Hi, I'm Andy, and I'm here at the East Kentucky Expo Center with Cindy Collins, the general manager, talking about the the new curtain system you have going on here. Can you tell me about it? Sure. Well, if you notice, it's a little bit of a different look for the expo. Um, our curtain system, which is almost complete, but you're actually getting the first uh, peep at it, will yeah, will be uh, completely installed and ready for audience to see during Ron White, the weekend after this airs. So if anybody wants to see it in full, it'll be up for Ron White. The curtain system is amazing, and it's going to allow so much versatility for the expo. Uh, it's 7,000 seats in here. It's a, it's a sure. great big concrete building. So this curtain system will not only change acoustics and aesthetics, but it will also change the size of the arena. We'll be able to have half house shows right. at about 3,800 seats, maybe even smaller quarter yeah, house shows. We have shows. A, lot, a lot of artists out there now that want, want to do some of the smaller yeah. venues, right? Yeah. So now we're at, now we have the ability to cut it in half. And we we do, and good, and to good. even do wonderful things like uh, intimate uh, dinner theaters or some educational shows or things that have okay. a little bit smaller audience. So I'm very excited about uh, the versatility that it's going to give us. So so what events do you have coming up that we can use besides Rock White, which is on September 12th? Yeah, Tater Salad. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we have, uh, right after that, on October 4th, we have Garden Brothers Circus coming in. Oh, the circus. Oh, that'd be good. And the minute the circus leaves, we're going to bring in lots and lots of dirt <laughs> and we are going to get ready for the rodeo we'll have some cowboys and some right. bull riding that's the shriner rodeo the this year, last year yes okay. yes Good. bigger and better this year so, so it is happening in pike it is happening okay. in pike and um we have willie and merle of course that's a huge show oh, it, uh, the on sale for that was so incredible i i think that it's since i've been here it's been the most incredible on sale we've had and I uh, have another big show to announce next week that's coming up November 19th. Can't tell you what that is yet, but you can okay. go to our website and keep up on Facebook. Yep. You'll figure that out. Well, stay, Got News Boys coming up. So, news Boys, okay. Yeah, lots and lots of things. 
just uh, check out our Facebook. Now, do you have a lot of Christmas parties here? Does, do companies come in and have a lot of Christmas parties and things here? Do you think they can use the new curtain system that we have? Oh, I or think. Or you have, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's we. It's Pikeville. It belongs to Pikeville. So, yes, I do think that they can. I think it's going to be a wonderful addition for conferences that we bring right. in, uh, for events like galas that people okay. have, for the convocation for U-Pike. Right. I mean, lots of people will love this. U-Pike basketball has already been drooling over it because right. they'll, they'll be able to use it. To so does it take a lot of time to take them up and down? It's so easy. I put the curtain up myself right before you came in. Oh, so right. It's well, that's a, good. It really is easy, and it's pretty quick, and it's, you know, it's amazing. I'm, I, I love it. Well, I great, it. great. Well, we're here in Pikeville, and keep in mind, it's happening in Pikeville, as you can see. Uh, I'm Andy, and this is Cindy, and we'll be seeing you soon.